Aries. Let's have a look and see what comes up in the cards, Aries. About how and when this person could come forward with their feelings for you. Okay, in terms of time frames, we do have the time of Taurus coming up, so that might be significant um, around those Taurian dates. Uh, look, I feel like this person is going to come forward in quite an, um, quite an extravagant way. And I like the potential link to this because you have the Ace of Cups. This is a divine new chapter. We can see it as divine intervention. We can see it as a blessing from God. We can see it as a chapter um, of something very meaningful that this person wants to offer you. Um, I feel like you might be, this person may come forward when you're releasing a lot of things in your life. And that theme of release is evident in the flowing water, you know, the, the flow of the water, um, letting go of a toxic situation, maybe something that hasn't turned out the way you have liked Aries. Maybe this is even a third party situation. It could be, um, it could even be a period of healing. Again, that number five connected to the fifth month of the year, um, that could be significant, but and then you have, um, that seven again, but, um, they could, they could come forward with their emotions, um, after themselves, after they've lost something in their life, they've cleared out something in their life, or after you have cleared. I think it's more to do with you, um, Aries. But I also want to say that the Five of Cups is, is reminiscing loss. It's melancholy. So I think for some of you, as I've mentioned, that do have that element of history together, this person never got over that. They never got over that and they're going to communicate this to you. I feel like they're going to show you that f their Five of Cups energy. You're going to see it in their demeanor, in what they say, in the things that they do. Um, I think you're going to see that. I do. I feel like... I feel like you're going to see that energy from them. That they're not over you. Um, for those of you that this person is new... A ten of Wands, this person could come at a very chaotic time in your life. They could come forward. Um, I feel like it's going to take a lot. I feel like they're going to be very nervous coming forward, but I feel like it's an extravagant way. The King of Pentacles pulls out all the stops. Uh, it's Taurian energy, can be very extravagant. Um, do, you know, it's it's go big or go home, go hard or go home type thing. So uh, I think it is, it is someone that's going to make it known and it's going to be very playing to you in the physical realm because the king of pentacles rules over the physical um it could be through work as well like a work event it may take you by surprise you know that seven of cups bit of scattered energy not really understanding you know what's happening what's going on around us so that's very interesting to see Very scattered. Um, but they could really surprise you. They could really surprise you. It could be when you're realigning goals as well that this person comes forward. I think you'll be thinking about a lot of things, Aries. I want to say you'll have a lot on your plate. Possibly you'll be juggling several projects. There might be a lot happening with work here as well. King of Pentacles can be demanding. He's the last king of the deck. So there may be... A lot of pressure on you career wise and then that's when this person comes but I feel like it's gonna come in the physical so we'll come face to face I don't think it's an online approach I think it's a more face to face approach um, if it isn't on because I mean I see the messenger the bird is a messenger here so it can be something to do with like Facebook messenger maybe Instagram you know sliding into your DMs type thing but I think it's it's I think it's initially gonna be a face to face because the King of Pentacles is known to be sensual and likes the physical. So it could be like they take you out on a date, they feed you, you know, um, they take you to a museum or they they want that, that, that interaction with you, that face-to-face, person-to-person interaction. Uh, but I do feel like there could be a message. The message can be the invitation. So I do feel like there's a very, um, it seems like a very formal invitation, however, Aries. 
So it's like, hey, can I take you to dinner? Or, hey, can I escort you to this event? Or, um, can you know, would you like to come with me then? There's a sense of formality about it. But, I mean, formality, but also romanticism in the way they're going to approach you. But if this is you as the Ten of Wands, I feel like you might have a lot on your plate. You might be dealing with a lot. Um, and they might come on fairly strongly as well. Okay, despite the exterior, despite what how they may be coming across to you, when they do extend that invitation, I feel like it's going to be really pow, like it's really full on, like you made me feel this way if you have a history. You did this and now I feel that and I've carried you with me and I've, you know, never got over this and etc. If this is someone new and you haven't had experience with them, you have you don't have a history, uh, Aries, I still feel like they're going to be quite extravagant in the way they approach you. Uh, and like I said, it could be quite formal. Um, and, and, you know, maybe it's just their sensual side that's coming out here, but I think you're going to appreciate it. But I'm wondering something's going on. I'm wondering if something's going to be going on with you and your schedule, maybe work schedules, maybe just having a lot on your plate personally, emotionally, mentally, maybe even physically. So I, I worry if they're approaching at the right time. I like the, the, the energy that they're bringing forward because it shows that they're willing to put in a lot of effort and they're wanting to put in a lot of effort for you. Um, so that's, that's, that's what I think I'm seeing here uh, in the cards. If the Ten of Wands is not you, then it's them. It's them having a lot on their plate. You might even reject the Marys. I don't know. Some of you might even have rejected this person's advances before because I feel like there might be like the element of rejection here or they're still hung up on that and they've still got, it's, it's almost like they've still got stuff in the tank or they're still hoping for another chance or a second, third chance even um, to be able to connect with you romantically and intimately. So I still feel like this person is holding out for you. They're holding out hope uh, to make something happen here with you. But again, quite a bit of water energy would show that this person is quite attached uh, or quite emotionally invested. If they're not attached just yet, they could be quite emotionally invested in you as well. And maybe that's that's what's coming up here. Emotional investment. But like I said, it can be quite sensual, quite romantic. It might happen through a work setting or um, they might invite you to a beautiful restaurant. The King of Pentacles is all about the senses here. So they'll do something to help to, uh, to appeal to your senses, take you to a nice concert, uh, a nice elaborate dinner, um, a theater. You know, there's something... Uh, something about the environment and, and pleasing you in those areas, which again shows a lot of effort and how interested and invested uh, this person really is Aries. So that's nice to see. Uh, I will leave your reading at that though. 